Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a really special day and a really exciting day for me. My channel is exactly three years old today. Now, three years ago, I started Matthew's Guyanese Cooking with the intent to spread my Indo-Caribbean, Guyanese, West Indian dishes that I grew up eating with everyone around the world. And just looking at the demographics that I have on my channel, literally so many people across the world are watching these videos and I never thought that so many people would start viewing my videos. So I wanna thank all of you amazing people for the growth that I've had on my channel, all of the views, the kind comments. So being that today is a celebratory day, I wanted to go ahead and share a sweet or a dessert recipe with you guys. So in today's video, I'm gonna be putting another riff on the classic Guyanese Matai and I'm gonna be making a fun Funfetti version. Now for anyone that doesn't know what Funfetti is, it's basically usually a vanilla cake with sprinkles on the inside to give it that like rainbow color on the inside. So I'm going to be doing that but putting it into a matai. So I hope you guys go ahead and try this out. If you're making matai for kids, this one is perfect because I know kids like all kinds of different colors and things to catch their eyes. So I would definitely give this a try today. Putting together this matai is very simple. So in a bowl here, I have some all-purpose flour. In the bowl to the left, I also have some baking powder. This is gonna make them nice and fluffy. And in the bowl here, I have some custard powder, some milk powder, as well as some granulated sugar. Into that bowl with all-purpose flour, I'm gonna add in my baking powder, as well as those other three ingredients, the custard powder, the milk powder, as well as the sugar. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just mix them in really well to get the flour coated. Once you've mixed all of those dry ingredients in very well, you're going to go in with some chopped unsalted butter and you want to use cold butter to make it nice and flaky and fluffy in the middle. So what I'm basically going to do is just start to cut the butter in with my fingers. You can use a pastry cutter to do this, but I just find that my hands work really well. And once you've worked that butter in and you get a very sandy texture and everything's really well mixed into the flour, you're going to go in with some condensed milk. What the condensed milk is going to do is going to give the dough a little bit of a sweetness. The reason why we need this is because we're not making a sugar syrup for these matais. We're just going to coat them with some condensed milk and powdered sugar, which is actually a little less sweet than if you were to just use the sugar and water. So to balance that, I have to put a little bit in the dough to make it a little sweet. Once my condensed milk is mixed in and it's nice and crumbly, I'm going to go in with my sprinkles. Use whatever type of sprinkles you want. I do recommend the longer sprinkles versus those little round balls. The reason why is because those little round balls, once they mix with any liquid or touch any liquid, they tend to run and they then the colors blend and you won't get a nice funfetti look. And once your sprinkles are all mixed in, you're going to go in with some evaporated milk as well as some vanilla. Now the vanilla extract is pretty important to this dish because this is the main flavoring agent. Funfetti cake doesn't really have much of a flavoring besides the vanilla and of course the additions of the sprinkles, but those don't really add flavor. So once you add in the milk and the vanilla, you're going to continue to mix until you get a nice soft dough, just as if you were making bake or obviously any other type of matai. So I'm going to keep working in some milk a little bit at a time until I get a nice smooth soft dough. So I've been working my dough for a little bit now. I did not knead it because if you knead matai dough, what happens is it gets tough and the end product will be sort of rubbery and we don't want that. So once you get a nice soft dough that's not sticking to your fingers anymore, you're just gonna set it aside and you're gonna rest it for about five to 10 minutes while you get your oil heating up. So my oil is heating up and today I'm using canola oil. You can use whatever type of light tasting oil you want to fry your matai in. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my balls of dough. I did split them into two just to make it easier and do it in batches. You're gonna go ahead and roll it out. Now, as you guys can see, the sides, they are cracking up a little bit. All you need to do is keep pinching them together and it will come together in the end. And then you can go ahead and cut them to your own shapes and your own preferences and desires. Now, I usually do mine in diagonal shapes or the triangle shapes. That's more of the traditional shape that Matai is that I've always seen but feel free to cut them whatever shapes you want. And once your matai is cut and your oil is hot, it's time to fry. Now I wanted to mention you want to do this on a medium to medium low heat. If you were to put it on a high heat, they will burn and those sprinkles will melt up really bad and it'll just be a mess. So just be careful, monitor the heat. You're gonna see in the end that my matai got a little darker than I wanted them to, which is totally fine, but you just have to regulate the heat. And after a couple of seconds of frying on one side, you're gonna go ahead and flip them over. Just keep flipping, keep turning them so they really get an even brownness and a nice golden brown crust all over. And once you get the color that you want, which is just a nice golden brown color, you're going to go ahead and pull them out of the oil. You're going to put them onto a paper towel lined bowl and you're just going to set them there while you fry out the rest of your matai pieces. So these are my finished matais and what I did was I am going to coat them in two different batches. 
The reason being is because these matais in particular are very delicate. So when you toss them up, you want a lot of space in your bowl and you don't want them choked up. So I did split my batch in two. I'm going to go ahead and do this set first and I'll do the next set after. So I'm pouring on a little bit of condensed milk and you just want to drizzle just about a tablespoon or two at a time. Do not put too much or it'll be very clumpy and hard to come together. And once you add the condensed milk onto the matai, you're going to go in with some powdered sugar. What the powdered sugar is going to do, it's going to mix with that condensed milk and it's going to form a nice coating all around the matai, just as if you were making a pog or the sugar syrup with the traditional matai. So I'm going to put the powdered sugar on, I'm going to keep on tossing it until I get the desired thickness of a coating that I want. You can make it as thin or as thick as you want. So go ahead and keep tossing it up and then they'll be done once you get a nice coating all around. So I went for a thinner coating on my matai. The reason being is because they were sweet in the middle so I don't want to make them overly sweet. But I'm just going to break into one and show you guys what it looks like. As you guys can see, as soon as I break into it, you can see how soft it is, see how fluffy it is. And of course, you see the funfetti colors running throughout. Now, every matai is going to look different on the inside. Some might have more hints of blue, some might have some more red, some might have some more yellow. But honestly, these are just beautiful to look at and it is such a celebratory dish in my opinion. And this is the equivalent to a birthday cake or a celebratory cake for me. So I hope you guys go ahead and try this recipe. Now, before I go, I wanted to mention that if you've ever had a Krispy Kreme donut, if you try out this recipe, your house will smell like Krispy Kreme donuts, and honestly, it tastes a little bit like a Krispy Kreme donut. So trust me guys, get your cup of tea, get your cup of coffee ready, you're definitely going to want to give this a try. So celebrate with me on three years of my channel, thank you guys once again. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a nice big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet, and of course, leave your amazing comments down below. I'll see you guys again very soon in my next video. Bye everyone!